guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Michaela, and today we're getting a little bit more personal today because this video is all about adoption. Originally I had planned to film and get this video up on um, National Adoption Day but you guys know that I got sick and I tested positive for COVID and so this is it now. So I went to Instagram to ask you guys if you had any questions. If you are not following my Instagram, make sure to follow it so that if I ever do Q&A like that, if I ever do a Q&A again, you'll be following. I just have some questions compiled onto a Google Doc and I'm just gonna go through. So just a little background story on my story. If you um, have followed me for a while, then you probably know or follow me on some type of social media. But basically I was adopted when I was four months old, I believe. And my family is white. So it was an interracial adoption that has honestly shaped a lot of my perception and my experience with adoption, especially because I do live in the South. There are five of us um, sibling wise, four of them are biological to my mother and then one of them is not me. I am the oldest of all five. There is, uh, my siblings are like my best friends. We're very, very close. We grew up very, very close. Uh, me and my brother are six months apart. So we pretty much grew up as twins besides the fact that I'm black and he's white. But uh, I have Drake who is also 24. There's Dylan who's 21. And then there's Drew that is 20. So um, we were all pretty close growing up. And then when I was 19, my mom had Major and he is five. So yeah. Just a little backstory. Um, so yeah, I'll insert like a picture of me and my family right here so you can see. All right, let's just hop right in. First question is, do you feel like there was an age or a time in your life when you felt like you struggled more with being adopted? And I would definitely say yes. When I was growing up in elementary school, um, it was really annoying to have to like always like have someone vouch for me that like this was my brother like because me and Drake were in the same like grade and stuff. People would be like that's not your brother and then I'd have to like go get somebody who had gone to school with us for forever or were family friends with us and be like isn't this my brother and then they'd be like yeah. So that was really hard in elementary school but um, I lived in a small town so basically by like middle school and high school everybody like knew the gist of it already but I feel like it really like internalized with me when I was in middle school um, because in like high school because you don't really know who you are during those times like inside and then I quite literally didn't know who I was didn't know who my parents were or anything so I would definitely say yes probably being in high school it started to just really really like affect me um, mentally and stuff but in elementary school I just kind of was going with the flow I was a kid I love my siblings I love my family and that was just that next question is would you ever consider adopting myself and absolutely right now single as a Pringle but Lord willing I would love to have like five kids I there's five of us I love kids I love big family um, and I would definitely love to adopt somewhere in that mix and however this Lord sees fit were you ever treated differently by family members such as the distant ones so yes but my family, my immediate family was really good at covering it. I feel like I didn't like understand or know about anybody having prejudice or anything against me because I was adopted um, until like older, when I was older. And then I would hear like stories or something about so-and-so, you know, whatever. I mean, it was a little black kid in the middle of Tennessee um, in the South. So like connect those dots as you will. Um, but I mean like not like super bad I guess I don't, I don't know is your adoption open or closed my adoption was a closed adoption I have no idea who my biological family is next question have you ever met your biological family no I have met absolutely no one from my biological family this one goes into it and it says are you in contact with your birth parents and would you want to um I go through phases where I I guess entertain the thought of knowing my biological family but Essentially, if you know my family in real life or you know me in real life, you know that our family dysfunction is like at an all-time high. We are nothing short of a hot freaking mess and sometimes the thought of more family members gives me hives, like literal hives, like cannot deal with any more family members. So that kind of turns me off because I just feel like in our family I've had to go through so much and so I just like can't think of adding more or more trauma to my life. Um, 
but I mean especially since you guys know that here recently I've been having like some health issues and I have had really high blood pressure and hypertension and so it does that's probably the worst part about it for me is that when I go and try to like find I, there's no one for me to go back on so I have absolutely no idea when it asks me questions about like my biological family does this run does this run I have no idea what runs in my family I have no idea what my genetic makeup is or anything like that so it does kind of suck when you're trying to figure out what's wrong with your body and you have absolutely no one else's body to go off of do you feel like you don't actually fit in with your family and I would say obviously I have been through like emotions of feeling like I'm different um, I feel like in different sections of my family I feel more in place than others like my immediate family like everyone's a hot mess I don't feel different um, but I guess like in the bigger myths I always wonder like you know what do people see me as like do they just see me as like another one of like so and so's kids or am I different because I'm adopted so I mean there's definitely been off and on feelings of like I don't really fit in and I do really feel it fit in so but overall like my immediate family like absolutely like I'm part of the family they would never treat me different like it doesn't even go in anybody's head to treat me different this question um, says, who do you count as your family? And I literally count everyone as my family. Sometimes I just don't know what to count them as, but I do count them as my family. Like sometimes I literally just have to say like my relative because like y'all, the dysfunction is real. And I know that my family is not, you know, uh, the rare form, like everybody's family is dysfunctional, but I have the type of family where like, I will count you as family. I just don't know what to call you. like. Are you my aunt, my sister, my mom, my, I have no idea. So I just say, yeah, we're related. Do you know your heritage? N no, I don't know anything. I know nothing about myself. Have I ever tried to find my birth parents? No. I, one time when I was 16 years old, my mom gave me the packet, my adoption packet, which said like my mom's name and all that stuff. And I was so upset and didn't want to be treated differently and had really harsh feelings towards my biological parents for the longest time. So I literally don't know what I did with it. Didn't even look at it. Um, so yeah. That is kind of annoying because I wish I still had that. And I'm like 16 angsty, Michaela, why couldn't you have just not done away with that? But now uh, for my, ado my adoption paperwork or whatever, it would cost like $150 and I would have to like send it to somebody. So I just, I haven't gotten through that. And this sounds like something like, so like, oh, I just haven't made it around to it. And you're probably like, dude, that's your biological parents. But y'all, it just like, there has to be a point where I'm like, okay, I'm ready for it. And I just, I haven't made it that far. I really haven't because I feel like I just am so busy and caught up with my, my family. I'm not going to say my adoptive family because they're just my family, but I am. Um, so I just like, can't, I can't do anymore. Can't. <laughs> and then the last one's a very interesting question. And it says, how do you feel about people being very pro choice when adoption is an option? Um, and just a disclaimer that I um, believe in the Bible, I'm a Christian, and um, I believe in the gospel, and we'll just leave that as that. But I also don't think I have the choice to tell anybody else. I hope this doesn't like create a war in my comments. Um, but how do I feel about people being very pro-choice when adoption is an option? I mean, I can't, I, I don't know. The answer to this question is I don't know, but I'm always pro-adoption, always. And that is my video on adoption. Adoption is very near and dear to my heart. Um, I don't know. I just, I love talking about adoption. Nothing is like too personal for me because I, I'm pretty much an open book. I love to be an advocate. So that is going to be it for the question. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment them down below and I will try to get back to all of them. Um, like I said, I'm pretty much an open book about it. Um, I don't really like get sensitive about it. Some people try not to like talk about it around me but like I want I love uh, talking about adoption um it's awesome to me every story is different and so I think that that's really interesting also and everybody's um experience is different just depending on the you know dynamic of your adoption and your family and everything like that but yeah so I love you guys and I will see you in my next video